close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to keep the mind established right here. As the Ajahn say, don't lean to the left, to the right, front or back. You want your mind standing straight up. The way we lean in the world is not just physically. We lean through our likes, desires. We lean through our irritation. We lean through our delusion. We lean through our fear. In other words, these are the things that make us do things that are unfair, that are not right. Treating people in a way that's not, not just. And the Buddha said these are places not to go. Akati is the Thai, is the Pali term. So we need to place our minds in the middle with some equanimity. And the breath is a place where you can do that. You breathe in, breathe out, and whatever is happening outside, you realize you've still got your breath. And if you can create a sense of well-being in here, then you can be a little bit more equanimous about things outside. Not be so driven by your likes or dislikes, your delusion or your fear. This is another way in which meditating is really good. Your meditating is good for other people. When your mind is standing up straight, upright in its thoughts, words, and deeds, then you're not leaning on other people and not causing trouble. And this is a gift to the world. The gift of Dharma means not just the gift of teaching the Dharma, but also means embodying the Dharma in your, in your actions. You can see this as a gift that you're giving to other people. So you do your best not to be leaning over in various directions. If you catch yourself doing something unfair because you like somebody or because you're irritated at them or you're afraid, stop and take stock. After all, your actions are your, your belongings, and you don't want your belongings to be skewed or out of shape. You want them to be upright and good. So give the mind some strength inside so that it can resist the pull of the various ways that it used to lean. That way it's a gift to yourself and to the people around you.